Hi, welcome back. It's Teacher Bernie here. Today we're going to start a new lesson, the scales and arpeggios. And we're gonna start with G major and G minor today. If you think you already know how to play G major and G minor scales and arpeggios, please bear with me and watch this video till the end. I know most of you had already mastered G major when you were seven years old, but still, there might be some tips that I've never shared with you. I'm going to share it here with you today. Let's get it started. Scale. Let me ask you a question. G major scale starts with A. True or false? Who answered true? Is it you? G major scale starts with G and ends with G. Do not make me repeat that again. G major does not have the key F. When you're going to play F, switch it to F sharp. So it sounds like this. Going back down. Two octave. T stands for thumb, while 5 is your pinky, that's why it's in pink color. How you want to use your fingering on G major scale? 1, this is G because G major starts with G. 1, 2, 3, and then you have your hands like underneath. 1, 2, 3, 4, repeat. 1, 2, 3, and lastly. One, two, three, four, five. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. How about left hand? Left hand is using five, four, three, two, one, and then three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one and then three index finger up two one four three two one ending with three two one how you go up how you go down use the exact same fingering it's kind of hard um i have a few tips like my helping hand left and right so do you notice when you play the third finger is kind of always together and tip number two use your metronome this sound annoying sound but it's helpful and tip number three you only have to master it once like half of the major and minor skills is using this set of fingering i have students even can do it with your so eyes ugly. closed mm. Now that we're done with our scales, we can go to arpeggios. Let's have a look. Arpeggio is taking the first, the third, and the fifth key. The first, the third, and the fifth key. Do, mi, so. 
and then extend it over the uh, extend it over two octave coming up and down. Taking this three key, this three key is your chord. Okay, sorry, the chord you use to play your piano accompaniment. Just take this. You take this three key and then play it once each time. There goes your arpeggio using the right fingering. When it is G minor arpeggio, just slip the middle one, one semitone down. Easy, isn't it? Learning and practice your arpeggios is really helpful with your singing, especially when you want to play the piano while singing at the same time. And have you noticed it yet? Your arpeggios is your chord. Well, the last one, broken chord. Same three key, but a different sequence. This time you want to do it with four keys this four keys and then repeat until you reach the second octave start with B now now you start with D last one start with G let me do it one more time down there will be no pauses in between your broken chord even when you are going down Remember, no pauses in between. No thinking, no pauses. And it's now for G minor, uh, G minor broken chord. The same thing, slip the middle one down. My last tip for broken chord is just be really really focused. I have a lot of students when they are playing the broken chords, when they are in the middle of playing it and they give me this. So that's it, we're done. Let me show you how a consistent player of a pedal can scale can do it with her singing and playing the piano together at the same time. See you again next week.